So recently, I acquired this pretty sweet monitor. One interesting thing about it is, it features four USB ports, so it's like the monitor itself has built-in USB hub. But when I plug in a phone via USB cable into the monitor to try and charge it, nothing happens. Same with USB thumb drive. The monitor is plugged in, it has power and it has picture, it's connected by DVI cable. So. What's going on? Well, short explanation is DVI cable does not transfer power nor data for USB thumb drive to work. And power cable just powers the monitor and it stops there, so plugging in phone to charge it won't work. In most cases, there is a need for additional cable. Looking on the back and underneath the monitor reveals another plug, USB type B plug. Quick Google search and you can see how this cable looks like. These are common with printers. MIDI keyboards or USB microphones, to name a few. This is exactly the cable I need. So let's order one. After three months of waiting, cable was finally the... I'm just kidding. I had a couple of them lying around and you should too. If not, you should be able to purchase one for two or three euros, even cheaper if you know where to look. Marketplace, for example. So let's plug this cable in. Both monitor and computer get some. Windows users, you will notice a pop-up in tray area of taskbar, device unrecognized. That is because drivers for USB hub featured on this monitor are missing. Needless to say, but still, each model uses different drivers. Search online using the monitor model name and number and try adding drivers or Windows 7, 10 drivers. You will find drivers for model I have, Fuitsu Siemens B23T-6 in the description below. For those wondering, I got these off of driver identifier website, note, quick sign up is needed. Once extracted and installed, let's test the USB hubs this time. First goes in the USB thumb drive. After 2-3 to three seconds, it shows up. And finally, charging the phone also works. And there you have it guys, just by using simple common sense and a little bit of poking and looking around, it was pretty easy I would say to figure out why USB hub or USB ports on the monitor were not working. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube and a lot of them are really nonsense, people just tell you, I just plug in your cables, thumb drive in, it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work, you need to do some type of preparation, some, some type of thingy before it actually starts working and I'm glad I was able to acquire this monitor and get it to work because at first when I plugged in phone to charge it wasn't working at all which I thought it's maybe broken but after figuring out it's simple cable that's missing that was it. For those wondering quick review of the monitor it's pretty fine looks it features beautiful white color with if you're gonna cancel me for that go right ahead which by the way opposed to the gray monitor that I have actually looks a little better in my opinion simply fits my room little better and that's why I think I prefer it. Not only is it bigger but it also has extra features that will come in handy for sure. And with all these USB ports around it now I don't have to bend over and crack my old back from plugging in all those USB cables and USB thumb drives anymore. Everything is accessible right on my desktop which is phenomenal and plus I was thinking about getting a USB hub anyways. This basically kills two flies with one stone. Something like that. I hope you find this video helpful. I wanted to document my journey, what went through, why is it working and not, and also share it with you in a sort of documentary but also instructional type video. The most tedious part was actually finding the correct drivers because searching online wasn't giving me a lot of results. Luckily, I was able to find the correct drivers on this website. Even using the program that specializes in drivers gave me almost no pointers to what driver exactly do I need to download, even though I was prompted to download a couple of them, I wasn't sure exactly which one is the correct one. I recommend you do a search online and also try some of these driver programs that are supposed to find and install the drivers for you and see if any of them work. So subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Well, not exactly videos featuring monitors so much as the videos featuring common fixes and also using common sense along with it. If that's something you're interested in, and feel free to subscribe. And also, if you have any issues you ran into, feel free to post them in the comments below and maybe I'll tackle it next. Consider rating the video, sharing, subscribing to the channel, and that's it. I will see you in future videos. 
Priest signing out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back.